Hi again. In this video, I'm gonna go through some of the steps that I take when I send some of my pottery in the mail. The first step is I always like to make sure I find a box that has enough room around the sides for a piece to fit in, just so I can make sure that there's enough room for cushioning. Next up, I like to use my water-activated tape. I love using this tape because it creates a permanent bond with the cardboard and the tape. So it's much more efficient, meaning that you have to use less tape. But the main benefit of it is that it's 100% compostable and recyclable. So it can be thrown away with the recyclable materials along with the box itself. First, I line the floor of the box with a piece of cardboard. So there's a double layer just to support for any external bumping that might happen to the package. All the packing materials that I use are recyclable or compostable. And I also incorporate some post-consumer products into my packing. And this wrap creates a first delicate layer of protection against the piece itself. The packing materials that I've been using, I purchased from a company called Eco Enclose. And they're really wonderful because everything that they sell is 100% recyclable and or compostable. And next I like to pack in a few layers of paper, making sure that there is enough room between the bottom of the package and the piece I'm mailing itself. And I always like to line the walls of the box too, to just provide another layer of cardboard between the piece and the outside of the box. It's important to also leave enough space on top of the piece so then you can continue packing the paper or whatever material you use around it and above it after the fact. And after I've sufficiently cushioned the piece to make sure that it is basically floating in the middle of this box, I put extra layer of cardboard on the top of it just in case there is any other damage that might happen to the top of the box in transit. And it's also kind of important for me to leave a little note inside. I always like to customize my packages for the buyer who purchases them and I think it's a really important experience to open your piece of pottery in the mail and receive something that really is just for you. So that's something that's important to me. Since this tape is water activated, it's also important to remember that when squeezing the sponge that sufficient water gets on the tape. I found that if I use too little water and parts of the tape are just left damp, it does not secure a strong bond to the box. I like to give the packages a quick little shake just to make sure that nothing inside is moving around. If there's movement inside of the box, that tells me that it wasn't packed tight enough. And for calculating and paying for shipping within the United States, I've been using Pirate Ship, which has been an incredible and user-friendly forum, and I highly recommend it. It's also been easy since I typically sell online through my Etsy store. It links to my Etsy store and I can directly import the purchases I'm trying to fulfill and pay for them and print all at the same time. And for privacy purposes, I've blurred out the details of these buyers as well as other past purchases just to maintain anonymity. All I have to do is input the package dimensions and then of course add in the weight. The UPS service is a new feature on Pirate Ship as of lately. I'm not so sure if it's permanent or just temporary, but I do know that they've partnered with them at least for this holiday season. So now there is the option to use them as well. However, I typically use the priority mail one to three days because that's what I advertise on my Etsy store. And uh, there's also a post office close by to me. So that is my preferred method typically. However, I've used UPS as well and it is very efficient. And as I click print on this, this goes to my thermal printer, which is a Rolo printer, it's called. And I also like this printer a lot because of course it makes the printing process very user friendly and I can do all of it in my studio without having to go to the post office and pay. And of course there's an ecological side of it too. The backings to each of these labels are not waxed paper, they are a paper that can be recycled, so I make no trash with that. And additionally, it is a thermal printer, like I said, so it does not use any ink cartridges, so there's no waste, and those are typically difficult to throw away. They have to be brought to a specialized site. You have to make sure to click the four by six dimensions to make sure that this works. Learned that the hard way and didn't know why it <laughs> wasn't printing when I first did it. And lastly, as my own personal touch, I enjoy writing fragile on the outside of the box, just for postal workers to know the importance of what's inside. And I think it's also nice to kind of see the final hand of the maker kind of send a piece off. Don't forget to recycle that, Doug. Ah, boy. Everything I mentioned is linked below, along with my Etsy store if you want to check that out. 
and thanks again for watching. It's always so much fun to share. See you in the next video.